Hello and welcome to another video from The Animal Edit. Today's topic is about pests. I think that's a really interesting one because pests are obviously animals or animal pests are. And as an animal lover, I think it's interesting to explore what that means for us. So you'll have to forgive me today. I'm walking my dog Sam at the same time as talking to you. So um, it may become a bit unpredictable. <laughs> this is Sam. Hey, say hi. <laughs> See, unpredictable. So before we dive in, just wanted to ask if you're interested in animals, if you love animals and you're interested in hearing about what you can do in life to just change your everyday actions a little bit to help animals or to minimize your everyday impact um, please subscribe to my channel um, it's a brand new channel but there's going to be a lot more information a lot more videos coming out so i think talking about pests is a really interesting one um, because if you consider yourself an animal lover, lover i can almost get, bet <laughs> that there are still animals that you consider pests and i'm talking about pests mainly around the home in this video so things like spiders cockroaches mosquitoes flies <laughs> those kinds of things so if you love animals but you don't like pests what do you do about that and where do you draw the line ethically and i'm talking about things like pest control about around the house personally i have always found it really hard to kill anything <laughs> even if it's a mosquito a fly a cockroach, anything. I find it really hard um, unless it's like really annoying me. So if it's a mosquito that is threatening to bite or has bitten me <laughs> or um, a fly that just won't leave our food alone, then in those cases, impulse often gets the best of me and I will strike. <laughs> um, but I think there are blurry, blurry areas that we can, where we can challenge ourselves not to be so quick to judge and to um, treat pests around the home the way that we traditionally have, I suppose. Um, and one of the examples is spiders. And we recently had a pest control company come around and... Um, Actually, they were going to do pest control in our house and instead of that, I asked them just to do termite inspection, just to make sure our house doesn't have termites. And I decided to do my own form of pest control, which I'm still in the process of um, researching. But anyway, I had a really interesting conversation with him and I always learn a lot from pest guys. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but anyway, we've got these spider webs outside our front door and... They're in a garden, but they're only a couple of metres from our front door. And we've been bothered by them for months. <laughs> and um, I spoke to the pest man about what we could do. And his suggestion, other than to kill them, was to relocate them maybe to bushland nearby. So maybe we could bring them up here. Um, but he also said that come the depths of winter, that they would move on. And it kind of just got me thinking about why do we really need to get rid of some of the pests around our home I mean these spiders aren't dangerous they're garden spiders and he actually made a really good point he said to me if you leave them there they're going to get rid of things like flies and other little insects as well so we did <laughs> we sort of persisted and we put up with the fact that these spider webs and there's a couple of big spiders there look a bit unsightly at our front door but we got over that and we allowed them to continue living there. And I noticed this morning that the big ones are gone. The webs are still there, but there's actually only two small spiders left. And there was quite a few big ones and like a couple of families, obviously, that had moved in. And they haven't done any harm. And in fact, they've been really fascinating because I've noticed a few times I've actually watched them catch prey in their web. And it's fascinating. It's so interesting um, and I don't want to rattle on anymore about this but <laughs> I, 
I guess it was just a good example, I think, of how we can challenge what we would normally do, how we normally think about certain animals. And that's just one example. I think there's lots and lots of others. But if there's an animal that's annoying you, maybe think about why it's annoying you and really whether it's a threat to your safety uh, and your happiness and if it's not and it's more of an annoyance then can you draw on your level of respect and compassion for animals and allow it to be and maybe just see what you can learn from it <laughs> um, there are cases I guess where the happiness aspect will be a factor and I think in this case for us it was um, encroaching on our happiness a little bit because it was making our front veranda look a bit messy and but then I actually because of the way that I started thinking about the spiders I started to look at them a little bit differently and I actually ended up seeing them as quite beautiful so I think if we take the time to challenge our own assumptions and the way that we treat things every day then we can start to see new perspectives and maybe see a different dimension of beauty in the world that we might not have otherwise seen. So that's all I want to talk about today as an example of pests and how we think about them in our world. I tell you what, my dog's being a bit of a pest at the moment because <laughs> he knows I'm not paying attention and he's pulling me along, which is really quite annoying. But luckily he's cute, so <laughs> I can let him get away with it. <laughs> Plus he has loads of personality and he teaches me something every day about living life to the fullest, but that's a whole other topic in itself um so thank you again for watching i'd love you to subscribe if this is a topic that's of interest for you and you love animals as well and um, let me know what you'd like to hear about and i will be making lots more videos soon thank you so much bye